I just remember always feeling inadequate. Like something was really wrong with me. Because I didn't get the attention from my father that I think every girl should have. I looked for attention from guys. I would date and date and date and date. It was really lonely. And then I found one that um, I thought was my Prince Charming. He was everything. I had found a guy that was beyond my wildest imagination <laughs> and who loved me. Oh my goodness. It was the most exciting, <laughs> it was the most exciting thing. It was like being on cloud nine. I might as well have just handed my heart to him on a silver platter within a couple of weeks because it was incredible. We were engaged after three months. I was thrilled. I thought I had found the love that I had always been looking for, you know? And I was just taken. I just thought he was awesome. It's interesting having what you thought you always wanted and still feeling completely empty. I slept with him even though before I had said I wanted to wait. Um, I gave up my friends. I gave up my family. And something happened, and um, it all kind of turned on me. I wasn't good enough. My clothes weren't good enough. My opinion about everything wasn't good enough. I never felt, I just never felt good enough, ever. Why didn't he care about me the way that he used to? Why wasn't I enough the way that I used to be? Things just kept getting worse and worse. Even though I moved out and broke up with him, I was still completely miserable. Like, I had just made a total mess of my life. I was so lonely, and I would pray. The thing was, I still didn't even know if I believed in the God I was praying to. So I read this book. Um, it was about Christianity, and it changed everything. There was a God that loved me and that was willing to pay the full price for me. Jesus took my life in its darkest point, in its deepest pit, and he redeemed it. And he found me in the middle of that. And he showed me that he loved me, that he was willing to die for me. It was everything that I wanted, except that it was eternal and it was lasting and it was real. I am Shannon Culpepper and I have been ransomed.